Hi Gemini, welcome. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Amira. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, check out my website, insightfulhealing.com. It's gonna be general messages for Gemini though, okay? Wherever you have a Gemini placement, um, it is spiritually driven and intuitively guided. All right, let's check on the general energy first. We're gonna be tapping into the month of December, seeing what's going on there for you, what energies, situations, people you're dealing with. Keep in mind this reading is general, as I said, okay? Timing is fluid and people have free will. So everything that I say may not be for you. Connect intuitively to receive and retrieve your messages. All right, show me Gemini, please. The month of December is what we're looking at, okay? For Gemini, you have indecision. Venus and Libra. Okay. Seventh house. And then you have resourcefulness, sun in cancer, fourth house. <clears throat> so I'm getting like financial decisions. Yeah, the eight of pentacles here is here. Some of you may be maybe having to work more throughout the month of the I mean I know that typically happens anyway. People work overtime. Okay, it looks like it's is being offered here or you're gonna have to decide yeah the queen of pentacles seven of swords is here as well you're gonna have to decide like when how where or if you're going to um work more okay or take these extra jobs um interesting you have sun and moon yeah there's a there's definitely some indecision here for sure you have an eight on one side a seven on the other so for some of you 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 would prefer to not go out or or not be in the public eye or not necessarily the public eye but maybe not maybe you don't want to be you don't want to have to work for somebody yeah all right so this may be what you're evaluating in the month of december how can i work for myself or how can i work toward this may be something too for some of you that you've been doing for some time okay doing your nine to five job and strategizing on the side how can i work for myself or do my own thing okay queen of pentacles seven of swords you're showing up as somebody who um is quite I heard handsy okay that's a side note I suppose all right hands-on is what I wanted to say I feel like you're a teacher okay you teach people well or you you teach people how to use how to do something with their hands or maybe you talk with your hands I don't know but yeah see the magician has three four hands here yeah so something about some something you're, do, you're doing with your hands is what I'm getting but all right let's pull your spread so financial decisions, okay, maybe maybe um, considering changing jobs, changing schedules, whatever. All right, you need to do what's gonna be what's gonna be best. I'm I'm hearing for the family, for the group, for the team, for the relationship, whatever. Three of Pentacles, like you're not just thinking about yourself here. All right, Gemini, please. Side note, you guys. All right, let's pull this spread. <laughs> Mind, body, spirits, friends and family, romance career blessings and lessons for Gemini month of December please thank you here you are nine of swords popping out okay coming in like that yeah you're worried okay all right it's okay I feel like you're really worried about something here. 
okay maybe you feel like you don't have enough literally or you or you you genuinely don't have enough okay I'm certainly not trying to minimize anyone's situations. I mean, everyone's situation is going to be different. It looks like somebody does have options here. It's just a matter of understanding what those options are. I do see a need for someone to step outside of their comfort zone, though, and that's a big part of um, hopefully the push that we can identify today. All right, let's keep going. What's your moon? Okay, I would check your moon placement here. <clears throat> also wonder how your moon clashes with your midhaven. All right, bottom of the deck here, you have the page of wands. See, good news. Flirting with an idea, the page of wands. I love it. I'm just checking the time here. All right, so you have the page of wands at the bottom of everything here. Showing up, what's underneath that? The Three of Pentacles, exactly. So you're figuring out a new way, okay? You may not be proficient at it, Gemini, but you're trying something new, and that's the important part, yeah. I feel like if some, I mean, if somebody, I don't know, what is this? Is this like a work thing, or? Yeah, see, look at these pages and the Two of Cups, all right? So somebody may, yeah, this is why I say look at your moon sign, because somebody may be viewing you as, like, um, overreacting or um, not super mature in the emotional space when it comes to whatever you're working on or um, whatever the situation is, okay? They feel like, Gemini, it's not that big of a deal. You're overreacting. Why does this make you so upset? Yada, yada, yada. It's interesting. All right, let's see. On your mind, the Knight of Cups, yeah. You're, how you feel is on your mind. Okay, let's see how you're feeling. The Knight of Cups is here. Or this, this, um, let's see. This water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Who's in the Knight of Cups, please, on Gemini's mind? <clears throat> Three of Pentacles again and the Devil. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, let me see this Knight of Cups, please, on Gemini's mind. Why is this on their mind? Yeah, the Ace of Cups is here. You have, and the Three of Pentacles, the Devil. Because somebody's disrespectful. <laughs> okay? Um... I don't know. I don't know who this person is. It could be Capricorn, like I said, that you're dealing with here. You're, you have a relationship, some kind of working relationship here with somebody that's not totally working. There are bits and pieces, maybe with having to do with the communication or literal like like financial decisions. Okay, that are um, it's just not working out. Um. Somebody may, let me get one more. Like why? The Fool and the Queen of Wands is here. Okay, so fire sign. <clears throat> or somebody's just super intense, like I said. I feel like someone, um, You both want control here, or? This is what's on your mind, okay? But you're, or, or you're just thinking about work as well. I feel like Capricorn, there's a, why did I just call you Capricorn? Yeah, you're, <laughs> this is like this Capricorn energy heavily on your mind, okay? But I feel like Gemini, you're, thinking heavily about how you want something to work like how you wish something would be working essentially and it's just simply not happening that way okay whatever we're talking about i'm not sure i mean it's going to be different for each of you but it's it's coming coming through quite the same okay let's just move on from that all right for body you have the four of cups okay 
not really happy or satisfied with your physical body this month. Body could also speak to a foundation of some sort, but you're just, you're not happy. And the Three of Swords is here as well as the Two of Pentacles. You're not happy with how things are like coming together or things are not coming together. Like I said, in this, in this, in this, I don't know, whatever you're working on, it seems like there's another person here. Okay. I'm not sure what that sign is. Cause again, it's a general read, but could be an earth sign energy or somebody who presents that way. Somebody who's really serious about the earthly realm. Right. Um, or, or this again is maybe this is your moon sign, right? You need security in that space to feel safe. Right. Um, Yeah. Hmm. The Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah. You feel like something is moving, like it's moving along slower than it should be. Okay. This could be a cut too, like a small. I don't know what you did here. What is the Three of Swords? <clears throat> All right, yeah, something you something you did. I'm getting like last week. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, more Capricorn vibes, and the Page of Swords. Wow, wow, and the King of Wands is here. So Gemini, this is this story is really interesting thus far. It looks like something was once good it was once stable i mean maybe somebody's saying okay i do spend a little too much money here and there or i don't make the best financial decisions here and there i'm sorry i messed that up it looks like something happened to mess that up okay this is this could also be something um such as like if you're in a relationship with somebody and someone wasn't honest or was not um um like they didn't go according to plan when it comes to how much money to spend on something okay yeah or you're just in a position of feeling as though you wish you had more or something was like had grown more yeah something feels like it's lacking here it's just what I like the vibe that I get there's a lot of decisions to be made with regard to that lack okay let's look at your spiritual self you have the Queen of Swords showing up in your spirit, which is not totally what I would prefer to see. Now, the Queen of Swords is this air air energy vibe, which is you, but she represents somebody who is very spirited through her, um, her words, okay? So you're, what are you, you're upset? Okay, are you mad at this Capricorn for not working hard enough or you wish somebody, I don't know, what is the Queen of Swords? For Gemini spirit, you're upset about something. That's clear. I feel like too, you're tired of talking. Okay, that's interesting for a Gemini. The High Priest says, yeah, but you are tired of talking. So you may be in a space of, I'm just going to observe, I'm going to reflect, I'm going to gather the facts. Yeah, what's this? The Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck too. Like you're serious about this, whatever this situation is with this person. I feel like the, the energy has become too, too intense. Their controlling ways have become too intense. Okay, you may feel like you don't have any space or room to, to breathe and even uh, make a mistake here. Yeah, Empress vibes in your spiritual space. Empress and High Priestess, real sensual. Okay, very seductive, very, um, you're taking a back seat here. Okay, this is what you're doing. You're gonna stand, I heard, fruitfully, okay, in your power. You have two and three, yeah. Yeah. Interesting, the way that you're sitting in the month of December. You may even be giving somebody the silent treatment here. Okay. <clears throat> Friends and family, you have the Three of Cups looking good. Hanging out, partying, gathering, reunions. Okay, very nice. 
very nice. I feel like you have somebody here who you can be silly with, you can be goofy with, or this is what you do when you get together with your friends, your family, whatever. Three cups, please, for them. Okay, this feels real, um, click-ish, though. Yeah, the wheel is here. It's like if you weren't a part of this story then, then you can't be a part of the next story. So this is this may be what you're what you're saying to people or how you're feeling about your group of friends right now. What's this? Yeah, the seven of swords. Like you're analyzing it. It's interesting. Um, so you're you're not telling anybody this. Yeah, the six of swords. All right. So you're considering separating from one of your friends here. Okay, or somebody's vibe is off, I guess. Okay, it could be an Aquarius. <clears throat> the wheel. Yeah, you're saying that things have to change. We need to do things differently. This, this, this also has to do with travel, too. Maybe you're trying to figure out how can we get back together. We've been apart for so long, this kind of thing. Okay, so you're talking it out with your friends, making plans or whatever, whatever. Yeah, the Ace of Cups is here in the page of wands. So you're excited about this. You're looking forward to it. Okay, whoever this person is, these people are, whatever, maybe it's just the holidays in general, but you're excited about getting together with people. You're also considering who you're not going to bring along with you in the next journey is what you're saying to me. Okay, romance. The Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, let's just see what this is, huh? The Knight of Wands. So the Passionate Knight... He moves pretty fast. He gets bored pretty easily. Um, passionate nonetheless. There is some romance here. Um, he has strength card and the emperor. Hmm. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, hmm. One more, please. Yeah, you're, it's, this person's pretty attractive. Yeah, Seven of Wands, it's a Leo. And the Knight of Wands is here again. They are really attractive, but... Um, they also seem a little aggressive. Okay, or... Maybe not aggressive. Um, can I get one more here? Oh, there's something about this person. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So it's the way that they communicate or... Yeah. So this may have to do with this silent treatment thing that we were talking about earlier. Um, I don't know, maybe this is just how you communicate with somebody here in this relationship but yeah something about this relationship with this person like i said does it does seem like like cyclical that's that's what you're saying to me okay with the devil energy that's showing up as a situation where something is toxic unhealthy there's a cycle of attachment where we're not really getting where we want to be and a big part of that cycle of attachment looks like how this person um how they communicate yeah they may not communicate in the most mature well thought out sense okay this may be somebody who speaks before they think about it um it may catch you off guard quite often they they may have trouble holding their tongue or maybe they hold their tongue too much this kind of thing like something about this is not balanced here you have the five of wands there's a lot of like arguing chaos but here's the, the more leo energy like leo lives for this also just saying okay but there's a the lack of balance here yeah the chariot okay it's like somebody is not really disciplined in when how and where they have outbursts yeah that's kind of what i'm getting here all right <clears throat> for career oh there's the nine of swords we've been looking for now i said you were really worried about was it career 
or was that Aries? Yeah, no, that was Aries. Okay, but the Nine of Swords did come out for you at the beginning of your reading. All right, so you're worried when it comes to work. You're worried when it comes to money. We've we've already touched on this. Let's see what this Nine of Swords is about. But something is not. It's. So is it you that's controlling, obsessive, or worried about money? Somebody is like, um, let me just see. Somebody is hyper vigilant when it comes to spending or, yeah, the lovers is here. So this is a conflict in your relationship, King of Cups. Okay, but here you are and the star so you feel guilty about the amount of money that you're making or you feel guilty about what yeah like I don't understand you have this the star the justice card here but the four of cups it's like you feel guilty for your justice or um, hmm Here's the Knight of Cups showing up again, which you have up here on your mind. And the Hermit. And Judgment. Again, yeah, of course you're feeling guilty because somebody is here telling you that your habits are, wow, I want to say like your habits are uninhabitable. Is that the word? Okay. You're feeling judged by someone here and and therefore like it's making you wonder if your expectations are realistic or not. Somehow this is tying into your um, career. OK, maybe this is somebody who you work with or you um, <clears throat> are partnered with. OK, for some reason this is heavily affecting your relationship or your work is heavily affecting your relationship it could be that there's no work-life balance we see the two of pentacles showing up here in terms of body um, yeah the title so your title so yeah somebody wants you to have less responsibility maybe maybe they want you to have more responsibility it's like th th this person is identifying or you are yeah the queen of swords is here and you're showing up with air in your spirit and the Ten of Swords. There you are. Hmm. So you may be realizing here how work is affecting your relationship. Okay, let's move on. For blessings, you have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, exactly. That's your energy. The, the Ten of Swords is like a, the band-aid ripping off that we just saw. It's interesting, though. You have the Nine of Swords in career, Ten of Swords in blessings. Like, there, there's a need for a change in the career front from what it looks that will ultimately be a blessing because there's a situation here that is turning into self-sabotage from what it looks. I'm not going to... I'm not really sure what that's going to be because uh, the reading is general, so, you know, it's going to be all over the place. Yeah, but the moon. It's like there's something here that you're not seeing clearly um, with your Kavi. Show me ten of, ten of Swords, please, for the blessings. Yeah. So Ten of Swords is, is like surrendering to a painful ending. Something here is not working out as you intended it to, expected it to, and maybe for some of you it's hard to accept that and move forward with it. You're still kind of hanging on to it. Okay, maybe this could also be like a somatic experience, I'm wanting to say. Especially with the Ten of Swords showing up. Yeah, the Ten of Wands is here. Two Tens and the Five of Swords. You're fighting against this here. Hmm. Um, what was, what's next? The sun, literally the sun card is what we're looking for, right? Someone is 
providing you with the with a solution here from what it looks um there's just a lot of arguing that's going on and so it's hard to even clearly receive what each other is saying um or there's so many different opinions like i don't know ego really is what it is all right but lessons we have the three of wands three of wands okay aries energy now look how the moon as we move out of this full moon in your sign <laughs> or through it i should say the moon is shining the light down on these plants to help them grow it's the truth it's clarity um let's just see the three ones so your lesson was about looking looking forward to the future looking on the bright side watching things grow all right reaching your highest potential let's see what's the three ones please for gemini's lessons this reading is way too long y'all <laughs> page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> seven of cups okay so 77 so your lesson had to do with learning something about yourself okay um yeah death card two of cups it has to do with changing the way you view this person and and conversations with them or partnership with them um ultimately is what it looks like get you some advice and then i'm gonna skid out <laughs> advice here for gemini thank you girl got to go I need to PT so I can get big and strong <laughs> okay that's too much but I saw the ace of pentacles hermit okay we love to see it advice please for Gemini regarding this situation we're speaking on December here what advice do you have for Gemini The Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. What's this? Advice. Earth sign energy. Moon in Libra. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Your advice, Gemini, is to um feel secure enough or okay how can i say this your advice is to identify where maybe you might be able to feel more secure in this relationship whatever relationship we're talking about here i don't know um or more secure in your decision making more secure in yourself really is what we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of once you feel more secure in yourself or in this situation and we're talking about it here with the seven of pentacles right seven of pentacles speaks to a long-term investment okay but it also speaks to assessing that investment is it growing this has been your lesson okay is what i'm doing what i have been doing what i chose to do in this situation working for me two of pentacles three of swords something's not and so your advice here is to be practical your advice here is to make it make sense your advice here is to do what's going to work well for you in the long run your advice here is to do what is going to make you feel the most secure and stable foundationally in this situation and sometimes that has to do with putting your pride to the side um, you or this person whoever this is but your advice is to consider the practicality of the situation Okay, use your wise mind is what I would say here. Um, I'm going to leave it there because I've been here way too long. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye.